What's good everybody? My name is Jay Fatty. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to link stuff inside Omnisphere, any parameter in Omnisphere to your controller inside FL Studio, okay? Now we've done a video showing how to link stock stuff to FL Studio, like stock VSTs and plugins. You can check that out in the top right now. But for third-party plugins, it's a little different depending on the third-party plugin, but Omnisphere is one of the most known and used third-party VST so we'll start with this one and we'll work on more in the future okay it's actually really simple so we have this little bell melody or a little bell patch here okay now all we got to do is right click on the parameter that we want to link inside Omnisphere so we're gonna want to link this cutoff so we can right click it and we're gonna want to hit enable host automation all right and now once we do that, we're going to want to go up into this little button on FL Studio. So essentially, we're enabling um, host automation, letting the DAW understand that we want to automate and link this part. And now we got to turn that on in the DAW, which it's just this little knob thing. So if you just click it, turn it on. Now all we got to do is go down to the cutoff knob and tweak it. So just move it around a little bit. Okay. Once we do that, you saw up here that it kind of added it into the database here. So now we can just right click it on the knob and it's important that you right click. We're going to want to hit link to controller. Now, depending on what it is, it's going to show it right here. And since this is the master filter for Omnisphere, master filter, the cutoff right here, it'll show it. Now on our controller, we can tweak what we, what we want to link it to. So I want to link it to one of my mixer sliders on here. So I just got to move it around and then now it's linked. I'm moving the slider up and down and it's moving the cutoff. Okay. Let's try something else. Now let's do the resonance. Same process, right click the resonance, enable host automation. Okay. Left click this to turn on the, the process. It's it'll glow once you know it's on. And now we just tweak the resonance. And it adds it up here at the top, okay? You saw it say plus one Omnisphere Master Res, okay? Now we right click it, link to controller, and this time it's the Master Res or Master Residence. Now let's just move the second little mixer track on our Novation Launch Key keyboard, MIDI keyboard. Now it is linked. Both of these are linked, and I can move them around with the sliders. So you can get some really interesting variations there. Now, as you're tweaking the stuff, moving stuff around in here, if you right click on this again, it'll say last two tweaked parameters, which will be the master filter and the master residence. You can also create automation clips this way just by going in here and hit create automation clips. It created an automation clip for both of them. So now if I drag these out, just have something like this. We go into pattern or we go into song mode go back into omnisphere so let's just let this play through the eight bars and as it goes through the automation you'll see the stuff moving So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how you link stuff in Omnisphere to the controller and to create automation clips regarding the parameters inside Omnisphere. Now we're going to show you Keyscape um, in the upcoming future and also other programs like Expand and Electra X. So stay tuned for that, y'all. But if this video did bring you value, please leave a like, hit subscribe, and hit that little bell. I really appreciate that. Make sure you stay safe, stay striving, and always be getting it. Much love, y'all. Peace.